Hi there, it's Simon Little at simpleonlinemarketing.co.uk again, just a quick video today. Um, just to show you how to edit uh, tags and meta descriptions on your in your website and on your web pages. Now if you don't know what tabs and meta descriptions are, let me just try and give you a quick example. If we go to Google <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sure that was pleasant to experience. Right, if we go to Google and we run a search for anything, um, football boots, let's do football boots. Now, if we take a look at the top result, Pro Direct Soccer, you'll see that they have a little bit of text in blue here, Pro Direct Soccer, Football Boots, Adidas, Nike, Puma, Umbro, etc. And then a little bit of description that says the boot room, the professional's choice for the leading range of football boots. Now this blue section here, this blue bit of text here, that is the meta tag. And this second bit here is the meta description. So, you know, it's it's difficult to overstate the importance of filling in um, filling in those sections of your web pages with useful information. I mean, when people search on Google or indeed on any other search engine for whatever your products or services are, um, they won't be seeing your full site. So, you know, you might have an about us section on your website which you think explains everything about what you do and what, what your customers might want. But if, if on the first stage of Google they don't get a decent description of what you do here in the title and a, and a decent description with a bit more detail of what you do in the description then they might not ever click on your site in the first place in fact they're likely not to the most compelling um, messages in the titles and in the descriptions are the ones that attract the clicks um, so you know for example for oh I appear to have moved my frame a little bit there that's interesting right so for example for football boots you know what what's uh, what catches your eye um, for me, it's uh, cheap football boots, discount football boots. Depends what I'm looking for. If I'm looking particularly for Nike football boots, where am I going to look? Well, there's one, two, three, three entries that, that specifically mention Nike football boots. So if that's what I'm looking for, I'm likely to spot that that's in the title and click on those sites ahead of, you know, ahead of the other ones. Okay, so we know now what tags and meta descriptions are, and we hopefully know understand a little bit more about why they are important. Let me just reframe my video, lovely, so that we're a bit more central. Right, so now we're going to show how to enter those into your web page. So again, you go to WordPress, and if we haven't discussed that before, it's your website forward slash wp hyphen admin. Now we're going into a site that we're building for a client here on our developers website which is outsource.com and that site's being developed at CleanSafe Services. Um, now on your site, if your whole site's built on WordPress then it's just going to be yourdomain.com forward slash wp hyphen admin. Whereas if you've got a specific blog section where WordPress is installed on your site it might be outsource.com forward slash blog forward slash wp hyphen admin as an example. So we log in, pop in your password, and we'll come into the WordPress dashboard. Now, by default, WordPress doesn't allow you to edit your tags, uh, your meta tags and descriptions. You have to install a plugin. So if we scroll down a little bit here, this is how you do it, it's quite straightforward. We'll scroll down a little more than that to plugins, and you just click on plugins. Now the plugin you want to install, and you can see that we've already got it installed on this site, is the Platinum SEO Pack. Now to get that, add new plugins here. and just search for plugins Platinum SEO 
hit the return and it should be the top result uh, Platinum SEO pack okay so all you have to do then is you can see I've already installed it so the install now button has been removed from there but you just click on install now and WordPress does the rest very very straightforward um, and in fact it will automatically activate the plugin once you've downloaded it as once you've installed it as well so now we're just going to go to our pages where we want to install our meta tag descriptions our meta tags and descriptions even I have them handily pre-prepared so the next one I have to enter oh, Excel causing problems is the accident and crime scene so I'm going to go to accident and crime scene page I'm going to hit the edit button now before Platinum SEO pack was installed you would have your post details there in this main box and just below it you wouldn't have Platinum SEO pack you'd have this custom fields thing but now you've installed your plugin you've got Platinum SEO pack here and this is where you can enter your title and description so I'm going to take this description here I'm just going to copy it out paste copy out paste and I'll just in fact no, yeah, I'll just update that so that it saves my changes. Okay, and and it's 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 as straightforward as that. I mean, obviously, I've got pre-prepared tags and descriptions. So let let me just talk you through a little bit why we've we've got the titles the way we have. Okay, so the title itself. And remember, this is the little bit of blue text that's going to come up. If somebody's typed in, you know, crime scene cleaning or accident cleaning which are you know, popular popular keywords for our client here then it's advantageous to have your title matching the search that the customer has has made or the potential customer has made and the reason for that is that what they've typed is in their mindset that, that, that that's what they're thinking about and that's what they need so if then they immediately identify with the fact that your title contains those words then the the matching of the, of of what what their mindset is at the moment and what you're showing that you provide means that they're likely to click on your link first. Now you can stretch this out to I mean we've used 41 characters here apparently you can stretch this out. I, I have done title tags uh, longer than 70 characters. It says here it's a maximum of 70 characters and that's what's displayed on Google. Um, you can stretch it out a little bit longer than that. I I wouldn't recommend stretching it out. A lot longer than that. Um, similarly, with the description, you know, you can. It says here maximum of 160 characters, and that's true. You can go a little bit beyond that. Um, here we have gone a little bit beyond that. Once we've got the site up, um, we'll actually test how the descriptions come up and see whether we want to edit those. But the most important thing is again that you're covering very early on the the stuff that that, that your customers are likely to be interested in. Now, you know, we're we're talking about here for crime scene accident cleaning. This is really following up where the emergency service have had to go in and deal with a problem so here you know we'll handle all your cleanup needs after an accident or trauma body fluids are cleaned and removed that's obviously an important thing for the emergency services the site is cleaned using the latest antiviral and antibacterial cleaning chemicals waste is safely and legally disposed of so you know again we're just re-emphasizing what we do and how that fits with the mindset of the person that's searching for this page at that time so that's it. Simple as that. That's how you do it. Um, I hope this video has been helpful for you and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thanks for now. Bye.